Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here, back at you with another Take A Lot video. And today I'm going to show you how to make a load balancing tool. Uh, this is just a picture of it because I didn't want to uh, put too much information out and uh, yeah, I didn't want to be bothered with uh, copying it into a new thing. But anyway, uh, how to make a real time uh, percentage calculator. So it's actually gonna, every hour it's gonna update your threshold uh, to see what your load balance is. And you ideally need to get it to 60% eventually. As you can see, I'm a little bit under, uh, but yeah, this is just gonna show you how to, it's gonna be automated, so you could actually set this up yourself and have this running all the time and you will be able to see your live in-stock ratio, which is really, really handy. Uh, your live load balance ratio. Anyway, so let me just explain a little bit what load balancing is. Uh, Take a lot used to have this, this rule where you could send in, uh, you had to send in to uh, distribution centers, Cape Town and Joburg at a 35-65 ratio, which means one to, jo one to Cape Town, two to Joburg. And that's just because Joburg sells more and they were sending a lot of stock from Cape Town to Joburg. It take lots of expense, I assume, and that's why they wanted the sellers to do it. So uh, they got rid of that. Now there's a new rule. Um, and then just check these rules because this is now, but there might be a different rule in future. Um, so just check uh, basically, you can send. They want they warming up to sixty percent is as the the load balance threshold. And if you have a look here, these are some SKUs. This is Joburg. This is Cape Town. One in stock in Joburg. One in stock in Cape Town. One in stock in Cape Town. One Cape Town. One Joburg. Both. Both. Okay. So you have all of your SKUs at the moment have something in stock. Uh, that means they are. In stock, so you have seven SKUs in stock. Of those, you have uh, two of them that are in stock in both DCs. It's SKU 1341 and 14, these two. That means you have 28% load balance, which is uh, under what they want at the moment. They're easing up, so I think it's 30% this month, 40% next month, 50 and so on. But you need to get that to 60 as soon as possible. Um, so ideally we would actually need to get this up to about four, uh, probably five. Almost all of your lines need to have at least one unit in each DC. So I'm gonna show you now how to make this. Uh, it's quite straightforward. Uh, you do need to do a bit of API work, but I'm gonna walk through it. It's pretty, very, uh, pretty straightforward. So what you need to do first is set up an offers API, which is going to basically bring in um, it's gonna bring in all of your offers from Take A Lot. So what you need to do is go to uh, add-ons, get an add-on called API Connector. So you might have to get it if you don't have it. Uh, and then you get to a point where you open it up, go to create, paste in this, this is your API. Get your API key from Take A Lot, paste it there. You have to put in some of the, these details just like I've got it here. Uh, set the destination to uh, a sheet called offers API cell A1. Uh, set it to overwrite each time. Page parameter, set that to page number. And set that to uh, this to page parameter, then page number. And then I have four pages of offers. So I'm going to bring that in. And then this makes it a little bit simpler. It'll be in the description below. Uh, you don't need it. I think you also need to pay a bit extra to be able to use this functionality, but yeah, so you could also figure it out without this. Uh, so if it won't run with this, this extra, you can just take it out. You'll see it. It'll still run. You'll still be able to figure out the, uh, methodology behind it. Um, okay. And then what you're going to do is just click run. That's going to take a little bit of time to populate and then hang tight right so it's finished it's got title SKU uh, stock at take a lot total stock on way to one is Cape Town two is Joburg Cape Town Joburg stock at take lot one two cover days unit sales and there's a whole bunch more of info that you'll maybe see if you didn't use this uh, James path uh, okay next step is to formulate those so I'm just gonna get, I've got the formulas already, so I'm gonna go copy them. Okay, so here we go, I've got the, I've pasted in the formulas, it's four formulas. Uh, I still need it, it's not the prettiest uh, yet, but it, it just ignore uh, ignore these headings for now. They don't really make the terrible amount of sense. Um, anyway, so available in, so this is one formula, two, 
three, four. This projected still loud. I'm not too sure if that's going to work uh, quite the way I want it to, but I'll explain it anyway. Available in both DC. Uh, this is going to be uh, select count B where F is greater than zero and G is greater than zero. And basically, I've just got a label there. And then there's, this one's going to be where F is greater than zero or G is greater than zero. So this is available. This is basically in, available in either. Uh, that should be either. Either DC and 42 is available in both. And then this is just going to be 42 over 120 is uh 35%. So yeah, that's my my threshold at the moment. It's fine for now according to take loss policies, but it's not going to be fine in end of this month. I need to up that to about 60 eventually. Uh if you have a look over here, this is my projected. It's basically adding my stock on the way to take a lot uh into both DCs and then it's taking that figure and calculating it. So when everything that I've sent to take a lot actually gets to take a lot it's going to be 54.17 percent but eh, this is i'm still figuring out here's the formulas if you want to uh suss it out this will be the same as this and then this is just going to be uh, d plus f and e plus g and those are column references you'll see over there earlier um hopefully this helped guys it's a bit of confusion at the moment with take lots uh systems uh, I try to make videos based on Take Lot, How to Start Business as an Essay, Business Tips, so make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.